I wanted to put my body in, in, into my work. I wanted to put my own experiences um, into my work. And this was, as a student, this was at a time I had just stopped um, competing as an athlete. So the experiences I had had, which had been most profound, were on the football field. You know, I started playing young enough that my whole adolescence was spent in that place. I loved the, the process of preparation and feeling like potential energy was at its greatest at that moment that the game would begin and as soon as the game would begin it, it all would be blown and um, spent. And I think as an athlete you understand um, that your body requires resistance in order to grow. It's something you take for granted and the whole training process is built upon that understanding. I looked at those experiences and tried to draw them into what I was making in the studio and started using my body that way and creating situations that put some sort of a, a resistance against my body. I started using prosthetic grade plastics I think as a way of referring to the, the protective equipment that surrounded me as a football player and the way of building the architecture of the body inward and outward. And of course, you know, Vaseline, trolling jelly is a, it's a lubricant and um, something that was just present all the time in the training room. There was always petroleum jelly and there was always the mentholated petroleum jelly that they would put on the roof of your mouth if you were, if you had cotton mouth, you know, or put on your ankles before they would tape them. There was always this sort of layer of lubricant, you know, making objects as a, as a student and, you know, being repelled by how dry they were and just wanting to moisten them. When you're on the field and you're playing, you're seeing across the field um, and, you know, locating, you know, holes in the, in the defense from the ground perspective, but you're taught all of the, the plays in plan and you're forced to study your performance and plan. So there's a, there's a way in which that you experience what's happening in plan, although it's not what you're seeing. There's an interesting out-of-body experience that's happening there that um, I think always interested me. I started drawing the field emblem around the time Drawing Restraint 1 was made, and at the time I was interested in, in expressing this duality between an aerial plan of an arena where these activities could take place and a flat graphic representation of the drawing restraint concept, the, the, the body with the self-imposed resistance as a, you know, as an enabler of, of creative act. And again, I think that had to do with my habits as an athlete and you know, how I was accustomed to, to, to dealing with my body at that point.